Setting out from Moscow, he passed through Riga, a Swedish commercial stronghold on the Baltic Sea, through the German towns of Berlin and Hanover, and on to Amsterdam, the Dutch commercial center. His next stop was London, England. In all these places, the Russian Tsar studied navigation and shipbuilding, as well as architecture and military science. He learned how Western European countries had used new technology and trade to gain power and wealth. When he returned home, Peter began a policy of Westernization. His goal was to make Russians adopt Western ways and ideas. He built new academies for studying science and engineering and revised the Russian alphabet, making it easier for people to understand and use. He ordered Russians to wear Western-style clothes. He even defied centuries of religious tradition and ordered men to shave their beards, a symbolic act breaking Russia's ties with the past. Men who wanted to keep their beards had to pay a beard tax. Since becoming Tsar, Peter had greatly strengthened Russia's army. He now used this army in a hard-fought war against Sweden. And his troops won what he needed, land along the Baltic Sea. There, on the swampy delta of the Neva River, Peter set out to build a new capital city that would signify Russia's progress and increasing power. The city of St. Petersburg would also be Peter's window looking on Europe. Whoa. 